All right, let's talk about baptism. There are two main reasons why you need to get baptized. First of all, because Jesus was baptized and he set the example for us. The Bible tells us in Mark chapter 1 and verse 9 that Jesus was baptized by John in the river. Secondly, because Christ commands us to be baptized. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 28 that we're to go and make disciples and then to baptize, to be baptized. Now you might ask, what is the meaning of baptism? Well, the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 that baptism is a symbol and it illustrates the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, it also is an illustration for us as well, where it is a symbol of the death of our old life and the new life in Jesus Christ. As 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 says, If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things are passed away, all things are become new. Now at our church, we baptize through immersion. Now what immersion means is it means that you're actually put all the way under the water and brought back up. Some churches may baptize through sprinkling or through pouring of water on. And the reason why we baptize by immersion is because every baptism in the Bible was that way. If you look at the instance of Jesus being baptized in Matthew chapter 3 and verse 16, the Bible says, As soon as Jesus was baptized, He went up out of the water. Every baptism in the Bible, they either went up out of the water or they went into the water. That's why we baptize uh, through immersion. One of the other questions that people ask a lot is, what about my kids and babies and do you baptize babies? Well, did you know that that practice wasn't started until 300 years after the Bible was completed? Nowhere in the Bible will you find babies being baptized. But what you will find is you'll find babies and children being dedicated back to God. Because baptism is a public profession of faith. And there's no way that a baby uh, can publicly profess their faith in Jesus Christ. And so at our church, what we do is we do a child dedication and we see that oftentimes in Scripture where Jesus was brought to the temple and Mary and Joseph dedicated Him back to the Lord. So we do not do a, a baptism for babies or, or children. What we do is we actually we do a class. It's called Take the Plunge. And it's for children to be able to go with our children's minister. And we offer the class and parents are welcome to attend. And we explain what it means to be baptized so kids can understand what that means before they make that next step of their commitment to be baptized. Now some people ask, well, when should I be baptized? The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 2 that the people that got saved were baptized that very day. So the moment you become a follower of Christ, whether it be in a service or through an event or uh, through uh, maybe even your, your home or through a friend of praying and asking Christ into your heart, we think you should get baptized immediately as soon as possible. And we baptize many times here at our church and uh, you can look at our website and be able to find out when the next baptism is. And I would encourage you to do it immediately. If you wait until you're perfect, you'll never get baptized. This is the first step of obedience in your faith in Jesus Christ. So right here on this website, feel free to fill out the information on the bottom and get signed up uh, for the next baptism and we'll get the information to you immediately.